The riders are trying to line up with the judging criteria to maximize the score. Up it. Hello, my name is Lolo Bess. I'm the head of the judges on the Freyad World Tour. To judge free riding, we're looking at a run using an overall impression, but always considering five judging criteria. Line, fluidity, control, technique, and air and style. We're judging all the riders on a scale between one and 100. All riders start with 50 points. And everything the riders are going to do, either good or bad, will add or take off some points to their original score. Because the score can go only up to 100, it's very important to scale the face accordingly. It's also important for the judges to know that each category has a certain level. A ski woman can score as well as a snowboard man or a snowboard woman. Let's look now at Yu Sasaki's run. So Yu starts from the start number two. You can already tell that he's quite energetic in his run. And straight from the start to a small jump, would have had one point to his 50 points original score. Yu started with a pretty high bib, he's at the end of the category, but he's finding a line with barely any tracks, which will add to his line choice. Yu jumped score plus one. At this point, we're quite surprised because with the size of the small one that he did before, we thought he would have gone and could have gone for a double, would have definitely had more points to his overall score. Here, not only you did a decent jump, more importantly, it was the fact that it's in one of the steeper parts of the venue. We added two points for the jump. You added two points just by being fast and technique at this time. Lying it up perfectly, this monstrous cliff could tell that you did a very good job at scoping the cliff. You really have to pop hard to pass all those rocks. This is a massive drop and would score him 11 points. Unfortunately for you, just here you could tell that he went back, touched nearly his bum and both hands in the snow and even bounced back with a ski in the air. We took three points off. You come back towards the middle of the venue. There is loads of features available and you decided to have a big turn which should bring him to do this double hit. Once again, you could have done that one in double but choose to turn. This won't give him more points than just one for the first jump. And in a way, he could actually lose for his line choice. In this instance, we wouldn't take points off So if a straight jump would have scored three points, a 360 should have doubled the points. But because the jump was really sketchy in the air, he barely gained any points. In the landing, he hand drag, and he lost another two points. Overall, the full action rewarded him only of one point. Now we're really aiming towards the last bit of the venue. This is a cliff which is not easy to take because the landing is a bit flat. And as you can see, there is a lot of snowballs, what we call cookies in the landing. We had it four points. You nearly do a front punch and lose two points on his overall score on this landing. With barely enough time to recover, you jump off this last bomb, another two points on his last jump, and you end it with 70 points overall. This is the end of the run, and so far my score is at 70. Looking back at the overall run, the impression is that Yu has been very committed. He gave a lot of rhythm and it was fast, but unfortunately had loads of mistakes. Fine-tuning it, 
I'm going to stay at 70. It's time now for all the judges to give their own score. The final score will be an average of all the judges' score. Yu Sasaki will score 70.67. So now you know how judges are scoring. But bear in mind that what's important, it's not really the scoring, but it's the ranking.